प्रथम सद्गु वंदे श्रीकृष्ण तदनतर गुरु पापात्मना कस्तूरीतिलक ललाटपटले वक्षस्थले कौस्तुभ नाग्रेवरमौक्ति करतले वेणु करे कंकण सर्वांगे हरिचंदन सुलित कंठे च मुक्तावली गोपस्त्री परिवेष्टि तो विजयते गोपाल चूड़ामणि नमः कमलना नमः कमलमाने नमः कमल पाय नमस्ते कमले क्षण यो ब्रह्मण विदधाति पूर्व यो वै वेदाश प्रणोति तस्म तघ्वादेवुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणम प्रपद्ये वृंदारक वृंद वंदे सच्चिदानंद श्री कृष्ण चंद्र शरणारविंद मकंद मिलिंद महानुभा We'll start the subject of today after chanting of two minutes. Radhe Radhe Radhe, Shyam Radhe Radhe Radhe. Radhe 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 Shyam Radhe 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 
राधे श्याम राधे राधे सतगुरु सरकार की जय श्री मध्युगल सरकार की जय 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 श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे यस्टरडे आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग द फर्स्ट लेवल ऑफ लव 
which is named as Prem or Prema Bhakti. This Prem never damages and it is ever increasing. The definition of this Prem is given in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Sarvatha Dhvansa Raita Satyapi Dhvansa Karani. It was explained also that Prem, there are three kinds of Prem. Proud Prem, Madhya Prem, and Mand Prem. Yesterday we just discussed Proud Prem only, and that Prem Proud uh, also of three categories according to the intensity of the pangs of separation. Now we have to discuss. What is Madhya Prem? Yesterday we discussed Proud Prem. Now we have to discuss the second type of Prem. What is Madhya? Means average Prem. When the aggravation of love anticipates the love of someone else, then it is called Madhya Prem or Average Prem. In other words, if the love increases after seeing the love of someone, it takes support from seeing the love of someone, then it increases, it is called Madhya Prem. In Bhagavat, there you know about one episode that before Maharas, one year earlier, at the time of Chir Harandila, Lord Krishna promised all the gopis. He took the f test first and then he assured them that right after one year I will bestow the supreme bliss of Maharas. There is nothing, no rust, no bliss beyond the bliss of Maharas. And he said, Ransyatata imak shapa. And I will give this rust to all of you in front of all these knights. Although a question arises, this Leela of Chijir Haran was done in the daytime. Then how come Sri Krishna said that I will give you the Ras of Maharaj in front of these nights? And the reason is moon or the sun. They always exit uh, in this. Ex they, they live in this world, like in in the evening time, in the night time. We cannot see the sun. In the same way, in the daytime, we cannot see the moon. But both of them exist in this world all the time. We cannot see. That's a matter of fact. But all pervading, omniscient God sees everything. So we could not see the nights in the daytime, but he was seeing. But why did he say nights? Night is night. Why is he saying nights? Because altogether there are sixteen nights in this material world as well, from Prabhupada to Purnamasi, there are altogether sixteen nights. And each night has thousands of expertise. They are full of many arts. But when Lord Krishna said, I will give this ras, maha, maha ras, ras, in front of all these nights. Then those nights were the divine nights. He played maha ras, ras in divine Vrindavan. In divine Vrindavan, anything which is not divine, which is material, cannot enter at all. 
न तत्र सूर्यो भाति न चंद्र तारकम नेमा विद्युतो भाति कुतो एम आग्ने एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड कैन नॉट रीच देयर सो द स्काय द अर्थ द एयर मून सन एवरीथिंग इन दिव्य वृंदावन धाम इज दिव्य सो दोज नाइट्स वर ऑल्सो दिव्य एंड दोज नाइट्स वर also waiting to serve shri krishna on this most auspicious occasion because maharaj comes after one pralay sorry uh, one kalp after one kalp the maharaj comes so they were waiting for a kalp whenever he will perform maharaj ras then we would also get the privilege of serving them that's why he fulfilled the desire of the those knights and the gopis and when right after one year when one year was over all the knights came over there with folded hand just to remind that one year is over because those knights also have thousands types of most beautiful arts they are full of thousands of expertise they came with all their beauty in front of sham sundar and chandrama the moon appeared with all his beauty all his arts as well so the bhagavat say दृष्ट्वा कुमुद्वंत मखंड मंडल रननाभम नवकुमकुमुण वनम चतको मलगोभिंजित कलौ जगम वामदृशा मनोहर वेन वेन श्याम सुंदर सौ ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल नाइट्स and moon as well most in a beauty most beautiful form akhand mandalam it was full size purnima full size moon and it was looking most beautiful because he appeared the moon appeared with all his beautiful arts and his the moon is spread the red the reddish hue was spread all over which was making the sky more beautiful when sham sundar saw the beauty of night the beauty of moon looking towards the round and beautiful shape of moon raman anabham navakum kumar navam anab he remembered that moon seeing that moon he recall the face of shri radha rani which is like the full moon and he also saw that the reddish hue is spreading all over and the beams of that red light was coming on the uh, in the forest also so everything was full of redness all the creepers the trees the earth and everything so it was looking extremely beautiful and as lord krishna said drishtam drishtam banam kusumitam rakesh kar ranjitam yamuna nilai jatar padlav shobitam so it was looking extremely beautiful looking towards the red light the redness uh, in the sky lord krishna is thinking according to the poetic perspective the west direction which is called pratichi west direction in in the sahitya is called pratichi and it is uh, said that pratichi the west direction is the beloved of moon it rises from there so it is uh, uh, pratichi the west direction is the beloved of moon so because moon is meeting 
his beloved after a long time. That's why he's smearing the red powder on the face of Pratichi, the west direction. Because red color is the symbol of love, Rag. The other name of red color in Sanskrit is Rag. And Rag means Prem. So he is thinking that Chandrama is smearing the cheeks of a beloved with red color. So all these things belong to love. Shri Radha, he, he's, he remind, you know, he called Shri Radha Rani as well. Then seeing all these scenes, the seeing the beauty of nature, seeing the beauty of night, seeing the beauty of moon, and this love pastime of moon that he is smearing the red powder on the cheeks of uh, the pra the Pratichi, uh, west uh, direction, Pashchim, he reminded, uh, he recalled Sri Radharani, and he also recalled all the gopis who prom he promised one year ago that I will keep bestow this love pastime the greatest, the highest love pastime of Maharaj after one year. And then as soon as he remembered this, Kalam Jagau, Vamajisham Manoharam, he immediately started playing his flute to call the gopis. So because he remembered to play the love pastime, the highest love pastime of Maharaj, looking towards the beauty of Chandrama, the beauty of Paschim Disha, the Pratiji. That's why this kind of, it is an example that when the love is increasing, looking towards some other pair or some other, other lover, it is called Madhya Prem. And the third one is Manda Prem. When a feeling of jealousy comes, seeing the beloved giving more importance to some other lady. Like Satya Bhama ji was jealous when Sri Krishna brought the Parijat flower for Rukmini ji. So this kind of love is called Mand Prem, but it does not belong to Braj. This kind of lovers cannot enter Braj. As you know, I heard from the mouth of Sri Maharaj as well many times, that there are six kinds of ras of Sri Krishna. Dwarika ras, Mathura ras, Vrindavan ras, Kunja ras, Nikunja ras, and Nibhita Nikunja ras. The minimum ras is attained in Dwarika because in Dwarika, all the inhabitants of Dwarika, they love Sri Krishna, but they give more importance to his magical powers. He has majesty. So the majesty is more predominant in Dwarika than love itself. That's why in Dwarika, majesty is seen everywhere, but there is lack of love. That's why they get very little amount of love. Little higher than Dwarika Ras is the Ras of Mathura. The Mathura Vasis give more importance to love. Sometimes, some pastimes of majesty are also seen. The Aishwarya Leela are also seen sometimes. But they don't give too much importance to those Leelas. They are more involved in love. They want love of Sri Krishna. That is the Ras of Mathura. More Ras is attainable in Vrindavan. Why? Because in Vrindavan there is no room for majesty. Any devotee, either he belongs to Dasya Bhav, 
सख्य भाव और वात्सल्य भाव और माधुर्य भाव नो बडी गिव्स एनी इम्पॉर्टेंस टू मेजेस्टी इन फैक्ट द इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ वृंदावन डू नॉट इवन वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट और डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू इवन नो दैट श्री कृष्ण इज गॉड ही इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल पर्सन ही इज ही हैज सम डिवाइन पावर्स दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो एंड दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट इट दे थिंक दैट कन्हैया नोज लेस दैन आस ऑल्सो The sakhas also behave like that. Either they think that he is equivalent to us, or they think that he has less knowledge than me. He has less uh, virtues than us. That's why some sakhas always move around with Shyam Sundar because they know that uh, he knows nothing except playing the murli. If some problem would come on Sri Krishna, who will save him? Because he cannot do anything. He da- he dances very well. He sings very well. He plays murli very well. But if some demon will attack, or something happens to him, then who will save him? So some sakas were protecting him all the time. Maya Yashoda, she says, Vishnu nitya me paasate sakhi Maya te naatru bhita shanam shanai. I always worship Bhagwan Vishnu. Her friend asked Yashoda. Where you were, I was looking for you for a long time. She said, "I was worshiping Vishnu ji. Vishnu ji, yes, I do it every day. Why? Because my son is so naughty and adventurous. He can do it. Start doing anything. See, he is so little, and he he lifted the mountain on his finger. Think, think. If it was going to fall, then what was what was going to happen? But because I worship." Vishnu ji, that's why he was saved. He was fighting with the Kaliyana. He is so formidable, and he went to uh, fight with him. Vishnu ji saved him. Otherwise, he was he was going to die at that day. So all the Brajwasis, they think that he has no any special, any divine power. He is like us, and they love wholeheartedly. Their love is very pure and spontaneous. When Thakur ji is defeated in the games, and because there is precondition that whoever will be defeated has to play. As a horse, and we will have ride on the back of that person. So Thakurji was defeated because he wanted to serve his friends. So he was defeated, but he pretended like I am scared. I don't want to be horse. What will happen? They will get ride on my back. I will be tired. So he he tried to run away, but the all the sakas they stopped him. Kanaiya, where are you going? No, no, I have to go. Maya said, "Come earlier today." No, no, no. Khelat me ko ka ko gasya, adhi adhi kar janavat yaate, adhik tumare he kachu gaya. What is the difference between you and me? You think that you are prince? The only difference between you and me is your father have little more cows. And our father will be less cow. This is the only difference. You are Guala. You are a cowherd boy. I am a cowherd boy. What is the difference? You cannot go from here without giving, fulfilling the condition. You have to stay here. Then Thakur ji becomes horse, and all the sakas one by one they take ride and they say, "Chal mere ghode, tick tick tick." And when Thakur ji is moving slowly, then they hit him. Go faster! How are you going so slow? This is the love of Prindavan. Thakur ji takes the food from their mouth. If the sakha says that my food, my mother made very scrumptious food. See, it is so good. And Thakur ji, give me also. Why should I give you my food? No. Then the, the sakha runs, and the Shamsundar chases them. And then somehow, when they 
catch the sakha, then he tries to take the uh, snatch that thing in the uh, which was in the hand of the sakha, and he immediately put in the mouth because he knows that he is strong. He will snatch it from me. He puts it in the mouth. Then Thakurji put his finger in the mouth and take out the morsel. Brahmaji was confused to see that. People say that he is God. He is so dirty. He cannot be God. He is taking food from the mouth of these uh, uncivilized boys. He cannot be God. He was confused. So this is the love of Vrindavan. And the love of Kunj is more greater because there is more ras in mat in uh, kunj because kunj is accessible only by those devotees who follow who are the devotees of madhurya bhav only the madhurya bhav devotees can enter kunj the most secret pastimes of shri radha krishna go on over there all the sakis they make preparations they some sakis decorate the place some of the gopis they prepare food some prepare the juices some prepare the dresses for shri radha krishna in that way all the gopis of madhuri bhav can reach there and then they enjoy the pastimes of shri radha krishna higher than that rush is nikunjras in kunjras all the gopis of madhuri bhav go and they enjoy the pastimes of shri radha krishna but nikunjras is confined only for those gopis who can go up to rur bhav mahabhav rur bhav rur mahabhav lalita vishakha chitra tung vidya the ashta mahasakhis artus only they can go in nikunj leela but sometimes these gopis give some seva to other gopis as well there are lots of manjaris they are the assistants of all these eight ashtamha sakhi so they give seva when the nikunj leela is going on they make seven gates the seventh gate is the nearest from the nikunj nikunj is a room which is prepared by the creepers bushes trees etc they create a beautiful room with all these things and shri shama sham sit on uh, sit on uh, there and all the gopis sitting around they enjoy the pastimes of shri radha krishna like once radha and krishna and lalita sakhi were sitting and by the way the cuckoo bird starts singing then shri radharani asked lalita what is this the sound what what is this sound she said this is the sound of cuckoo bird oh it's so sweet then lalita said but it is very black like shamsundar when she said like that then kishori ji laughed like anything then shri krishna noticed that she said something in the ear of shri radha rani and shri radha rani is laughing she asked that what happened why are you laughing but nobody was telling him that what was the reason what did she say but when they saw that shamsundar is annoyed he said you have to tell me that what was the reason why did she laugh then lalita said i said like that takuji said oh so you were mocking my complexion i am black that's why you were saying that and no 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 actually then they were having some kind of debate the gopi was saying that black color is bad and sham sundar was saying no no black color is most adorable color when the gopi said how and say see Sub, suppose do you you are a gopi and everybody says you are beautiful why because you have black hair suppose if your hair were white <laughs> now how are you looking like <laughs> he, the gopi could not answer then she said then he said your eyebrows 
they are also black. If they were white, then what was going to happen? Who were going to say that you are beautiful? Your eyes look beautiful. Why? Because you put collyrium. If you were not putting the collyrium, then how was it looking like? He said many things which, which are... Then he said that you put the kasturi dot over here, which, which increases your beauty. He gave so many reasons that back, black color is best. But the gopi says, tell me one person who would say, no, if you, somebody is going to get married, and they will ask that, what's the complexion of the boy? And they say, black, oh, forget it. Or the girl, what color of the, uh, what color is com complexion of the girl? They will say black, oh, forget it. I will see someone else. So, both of them were saying like that. Then, Kishoreji say, anyway, black color is bad or good, but I like Sham Sundar. So, in that way, the, that uh, fight was stopped. This kind of leelas go on only in Nikunj, but there is highest rush which is called Nibhrit Nikunj. Nibhrit means very dense. In Nibhrit Nikunj, only Sri Radha Krishna can appear. No gopi. Even Lalita, Vishakha, etc. cannot enter. But, they try to see the Leelas of Radha Krishna secretly behind the standing behind the creepers, etc., because there is some opening when something is made of creepers, the flowers, the trees and the bushes, then naturally there is some opening from somewhere, so chupi chupi, kunjo majhar, they go behind and secretly they see what is going on inside, what Leela of Sri Radha Krishna is going on. For example, once, Shri Krishna said to Shri Adharani that uh, I want to be, I want to dress up myself as you. Means I want to be Radha. I want to wear the, all the attire of Shri Radha. Shri Adharani said, yes, that's okay. So I will become Shri Krishna. I will dress up myself as Shri Krishna. So Shri Radha dressed up herself as Sri Krishna, and Sri Krishna dressed up himself as Sri Radharani. We also do it when we do some Leela, some Natak, then we can also do it. But what happened over there? Because they are divine couple. That's why when Sri Krishna dressed himself as Sri Radha, he forgot that I am Sri Krishna. Sri Radha dressed him, her himself, herself in the guys of uh, Sri Krishna, she forgot that I am Sri Radha. What happened? Both of them started crying, bewailing, and Sri Krishna is asking Sri Radha, Piya kaha pyari so sakhi kit gaye Priyatam Nand Kumar Dekhu Sakhi Adbhud Kunj Bihar Pyari Kaha Pyare Te Kit Gai Pyare Pyari Kaha Pyare Te Kit Gai Bhori Bhanu Dular Shri Radha is asking she is crying, she is prevailing, and she is asking, My Pyariju, my Swamini Sri Radharani, where is she? She, Where has she gone? And Sri Krishna asking her, Where Priyatam Shamsundar has gone? So we, seeing this Leela, who can see this Leela? Only the Lalita, Vishakha, etc., Ashtamahasakis, they are enjoying that Leela, standing secretly behind the group. There are, I said that there are eight gates, on all the gates, other Sakis are standing. So they give the duty, you have to stand on the first grade, you have to stand on the second, third, fourth, fifth. So the 
gopi who is standing at the first gate does not feel bad she is equally delighted that i am given the seva of nikunj oh shyam sundar is playing nikunj leela and i am the one who is having this seva of guarding at the first gate so there this feeling only the feeling of love gives some bliss to them also and lalita vishakha is enjoying shri maharaj ji wrote in this pad that lakhat kripalu sakhin lalita dik lakhat kripalu sakhin lalita dik chupi chupi kunj bihar dekhu sakhi adbhut kunj bihar so this is nibhit nikunj lila so the the devotees of mand prem cannot have this they are confined only to dwarika hmm radha prem agadha swamini ladini shakti arjun ladini shakti roopini bhavini lakhat dwarika rasahi kamini lakhat dwarika rasahi kamini yugal vihar lakhat nishkamini yugal vihar lakhat nishkamini so the mand prem the devotees of mand prem cannot have it they can go up to dwarika ras only so this is these are the three types of prem after that we also discussed yesterday about the question that why this prem is called anirvachaniyam why is it ineffable and it was explained because it is divine because there is no desire at all there is no desire of dharma arth kaam and there is no desire of moksha as well and above moksha there is one more desire that is the desire of vishnu lok the aspirants of love bliss they have to abandon this desire as well they don't want to go in vishnu lok because there is lack of love that, that vishnu lok is also divine there is also unlimited divine bliss divine bliss is there majesty is there everything is there but the leelas the parikar the love that deep love the closeness with our ishtadev is not seen over there that's why the devotees who want to attain love they do not want to attain even vaikuntha lok so they they have to give up they have to give up the desire of dharma arth kaam that is bhukti moksha that is mukti and they have to give up the desire of vaikuntha lok as well then they attain love they come up to the first level of love which is called prem i also said that the it is anirvachaniya because all the time every time new waves of divine sentiments of love are sprouting every time new new kind of wave is sprouting from there the how can somebody de- describe the love because every time their love is changing in this connection i explain dakshin bhav and varma bhav there are two bhav of this kind when the waves of love spring then there are two 
two uh, classes of that, uh, two kinds of bhav there, dakshin bhav and vam bhav. So I explained dakshin bhav yesterday. Now we have to think what is vam bhav of the gopis, those who attain love. What is their vam bhav? Vam bhav means despite of having unlimited love, the, the, their behavior is completely inverted. They behave like they don't love. They have love. A gopi who is waiting for Sham Sundar since night, in the night time when he, she was going to make yogurt, since then she was thinking that I will make, I am making this yogurt, it should be very sweet. Probably Shyam Sundar would come tomorrow in my house to steal the yogurt. Or I will go to sell the yogurt towards that side. Probably Shyam Sundar would come towards that side. Whole night she was thinking about Shyam Sundar when she was making the yogurt in the morning when she made the butter. All the time she was thinking about Shyam Sundar, she could not sleep for even one second. If she could not sleep whole night, uh, how can Sri Krishna sleep? Ye yatha maam prapadyante tans tathaiva bhajam yam. He could also not sleep. He was also waiting that as soon as the sun will be seen, the, it is morning time, then I will go to the gopi to give my love to him. He is desperate to give love. She is desperate to have love of Sri Krishna. But when Sri Krishna goes, she is selling the yogurt. And his her mind is thinking about Shyam Sundar only. Lo dahi, lo dahi, she forgot. And because she was thinking about Shyam Sundar, that's why he started saying, Lo Shyam Sundar, Lo Govind, Lo Madhava. Vikre tu kama khil gop kanya murari padar pita chitta vritti dadhyadika moha vashada vochat govinda damo dharamadha veti. He started taking the name of Sri Krishna. Then Sri Krishna thinks, if I will not give darshan to this gopi now, then she will sell me. Because then she forgot about anything, she will sell me all. Then he had to come over there. When, the, when Shyam Sundar comes to the gopi, the one who is waiting whole night, and she made the yogurt with this feeling that probably he will eat this yogurt. He will um, snatch it from me or he will steal this yogurt from me. She was thinking whole night about all these things. But when Sri Krishna says that, Sakhi, give me a little bit of yogurt. Hmm. I did not, I am not here to donate it. I am selling it, okay? Get out from here. I cannot give you the yogurt. Give me a little bit. Shyam Sundar is small and his hands are also very small. He doesn't have any pot. He has only his little hands. And he's begging for the yogurt just like this. How much yogurt would come in his hand? But still, the gopi is not giving. Why? Because she wants to have more darshan of Sri Krishna. If she will immediately give the yogurt, then he may go. But if she is saying, no, I will not give. I will not give you. And he is asking again and again. And then when she sees, that if I will not give, the yogurt or the butter, whatever he is asking for, then he will go. Then she says, okay, if you are insisting so much, then I can give you, but on one condition. What? You have to dance first. Show your dance, after that I, can get, I will give you the little yogurt. Then Thakoji dances. An ordinary dancer also needs some music, some orchestra, some stage, some costumes, etc. But Thakurji has no orchestra, no stage, no special costumes, nothing at all. Just on the floor 
And what is the orchestra? Clapping. The gopis are clapping on the rhythm of the claps of the gopis. He is dancing. When he finishes dancing, he said, Now, now you can give me butter. She says, in the, at the same time, the other group of the gopis come. No, 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 don't give the butter because we haven't seen. We are just coming. Let him, to, let him dance again. Then he will, he will dance again. He will have only a little bit of yogurt or a little bit of butter. But he has to dance again and again because as soon as he finishes one dancing, then other group of gopis come. And they said, no, don't give now because I haven't seen his dance. He has to dance again. Then he is dancing again and again. A poet has written very nicely, Shesh Mahesh Ganesh Dinesh Suresh Hujahi Nirantar Dhave Jahi Anadi Anantar Khand Acheed Abhed Subhed Batave Narad Se Shuk Vyas Rache Narad Se Shuk Vyas Rache Pachi Hare Tau Puni Par Na Pave Tahi Ahir Ki Chohariya Chachi abhar chach pe nach na chave. They are making him dance so many times. And sometimes when Shyam Sundar comes to the gopi, and then she pretends, like, I don't love you. She loves Sri Krishna, but she is pretending, I don't love you. Why have you come? Get out from here. And then Shyam Sundar is say, saying that she is not talking to me. Then. He pulls the sari of the gopi. Then she scolds Shyam Sundar. Mun chan chalam chan chala pashyalokam Balo sinalo kaise kalankam Bhavam na janasi vilasini naam Gopal gopalana panditosi Kanahiya, you are a gwala. You are gopal. You don't know anything else except grazing the cows. You, you are asking me, you are pulling my sari. Don't you see that everybody is seeing that? They will make stories against us. That's why leave me alone. She is scolding. But Lord Krishna knows that she was remembering me whole night. So he is also determined that I have to give love, love to her today because she deserves this and she wants to attain it. So this is the warm bhav. Means love is there, but their actions are completely different. This is warm bhav. Sometimes, you know, Sri Radharani gets annoyed. Her man is also called in Hindi pranaya kop. Means this man, this annoyance is not annoyance. It is a pastime to increase more rush in love. Because the pastimes of man Leela are sweetest amongst all of them. Because when Sham Sundar, Paratpar Brahma Shri Krishna, when he cries to see Sri Radharani and she touches the feet of the gopis, please show me once the beautiful face of Sri Radharani, otherwise I will die. He says like that. That time, the rush which is created by Priya Priyatam, Shyam Sundar and Sri Radharani, that is ineffable. Once Sri Radharani was annoyed because Shamsunda did not reach on time. She was waiting and waiting and he didn't come. Then Sri Radharani called the gopis, main, Lalita, Vishakha, etc. Listen, he will come late. Don't let him enter my palace. Be very strict. Tell all the gopis to guard the entire palace. He must not enter ever in my palace. Lalita Shaka said, all right, I am going to depute all the gopis in, uh, everywhere around this uh, palace. When they were going to say that, Shiradhan said, oh Lalita, 
Listen, one more thing. Vishakha, you also come. What? When he will come, don't even talk to him. Why? Because he is very clever in making the stories. So if you will talk to him, then he will make such kind of a story that you will think that, oh, he's not wrong. You will be very sympathetic to him and then you will bring him inside. That's why better you should not speak to him. The gopi said, okay, we will not talk to him. Again, Lalita, listen, one more thing. What? When he comes, don't even look at him. Don't even look at him. Why? Because he is a good actor as well. He is a very good actor. When he, you will look towards him and he will look towards your eyes, then he, he will place something magical and you will be filled with sympathy for him and then you will think that, no, he is right. Let us take him to Sri Radha Rani. That's why don't look at him also. Now they remembered that we don't have to let him enter, we don't have to talk to him, and we don't have to look at him also. When Sri Krishna came there, he was coming very freely, playing his flute, but he saw at every corner some gopis are standing with the stick, what happened today? Every, everyone is standing like a guard with a stick. And when Sham Sundar tries to enter from any gate, the gopis put their stick. They don't say anything. Sham Sundar is standing this side and they do like that. Sham Sundar, what's the problem? Everywhere you gopis are standing and you are stopping me from going there. What's the reason? Tell me something. Nobody is talking. He calls Lalita, Lalita goes towards that side. He calls Vishakha, listen to me. Vishakha is going towards that side. Chitra, you listen to me. Chitra is going there. Nobody is listening to him. Then he goes. So Devi, look at me and talk to me. Nobody is looking towards Shiradha also, uh, towards any gopi. After some times, he understood that I cannot enter today. But he was very upset, very sad, what should I do? Now, in this way, I cannot enter the palace. If I cannot enter, I cannot see Shri then how can I please her? I have to please, but how can I enter? So I have to play some trick. So what trick he played? He thought that I, I have to come in some other disguise. And he decided to come in the form of a lady flower seller. He decorated himself in a beautiful lady as flower seller. He took a big basket of flower. Maliniya ban gaye banwari Chalan ko Shri Radha Pyari to deceive Shri Radha Rani. He disguised himself in the form of a flower seller. Then what he did? Saji kar nakshik sab shringar Sughar alveli nazuk nar Chali mast gaj gamini Koti kaam gayo laj Barsane me aay ke deti phire awaz Koi phul walo braj nari Chalan ko shri radha pyari Saji kar nakh shikh sab shingar Thakur ji decorated himself from head to two in all kind of ornaments, all kind of makeup. Sughar alveli nazuk nar in the form of a beautiful new married girl. Sham Sundar himself is so beautiful that millions of cupid, the beauty, the combined beauty of millions of cupid 
is ashamed in the in front of the beauty of Shamsundar. But when he specially decorated himself to make himself more beautiful than you can imagine, the beauty of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna disguised in the beautiful, in the form of a beautiful lady with all kind of Shringar. And then, Chali Mast Gaj Gamini. He pretended like he is walking like a very soft, very tender lady. That's why he is acting like he is swaying, his body is swaying like that and he is going when he is walking. His walk itself is so beautiful that even the Paramahans, Rishi Muni, whoever looks towards his beauty, looks towards his gait, they become unconscious. But this time he is specially pretending like I am a very beautiful and very um, delicate kind of lady and that's why he is walking like this. Then he was looking extremely beautiful. Chali mast gaj kamini koti kam gayo laj aur barsane mein aaye ke deti phire awaz. She came to barsana and she was saying Phool le lo, phool, mala le lo, mala wali. He was saying like that. The gopis who were guarding there, they heard the voice of Shyam Sundar. They have natural love for Shyam Sundar. Then they heard the voice of Shyam Sundar. Naturally, the voice attracted them. They were very much attracted with the voice of that lady. And they were talking, who is this lady? His voice is so sweet. Oh, look at his gait. She is looking so beautiful. We should call, call her. They called, oh Malini, come here. She came over there, but she, the veil was here because she just didn't want to expose his real form. So there was a veil. And the gopis are, who are you? The other gopis, what's your name? Where do you live? Thakurji thought, if I give all the answers right over here, then how would I reach inside? He said, you are so many gopis. This, she is asking some other question, you are asking other question. Everybody is asking different questions. How long would I give the answers to all of you? Tell me, who is your leader? I will give the answer of the leader only. And say, My, our leader is Sri Radharani, where is she? Who is one of you? No, no, nobody is here. Sri Radharani is uh, in the, inside the uh, mahal. So take me over there. I will give the answer of all the questions, you know. Tell her to ask as many questions as she can. And Lalita went inside and said, Kishori Ju, a um, flower seller has come. She is so extremely beautiful. His voice is so sweet. His body is so delicate. Shri Radha was a surprise. These gopi are never fascinated on the beauty of anyone so far. They love except me and Shyam Sundar, except myself and Shyam Sundar. They could not admire the beauty of anyone. What happened to them? Who is that lady so, who is so beautiful that Lalita Vishakha, they are attracted to her. That's why Shri Radha said that, okay, bring her inside. When they brought, she was pretending that I am very shy because she didn't want, Thakuji didn't want to show his face. So he was pretending that I am very shy. She rather and he said, why are you so shy? All the ladies are here, but she was trying to hide her face. And she rather and he said that, who are you? Where are you coming from? What's your name? Then Thakuji answered, Lajili malin vachan uchar. He was showing that he, she is very shy. And then he said in the same way, Lajili malin vachan uchar. Aap ki malin ho sarkar. My introduction is this, that I am your malini. I am your flower seller. 
न झीली मालिन वचन उचार आपकी मालिन हूँ सरकार लाई मैं भांति भांति के हार मस्त बेला चंपा कचनार ही न्यू दैट किशोर जी लाइक द फ्लावर्स द मोस्ट That's why he thought to be a flower seller, and she is saying that lai me bhati bhati ke har. I have brought various the uh, kind of uh, garlands in different kind of designs and with a different kind of flowers. Lai me bhati bhati ke har, and these garlands are made of the most fragrant flowers like bela, champa, kachnar, etc. मस्त बेला चंपा कचनार फूलन के गहने सभी लाई हूँ सरकार आई हैव मेड ऑल काइंड ऑफ ऑर्नामेंट्स ऑल्सो मेड ऑफ फ्लावर दे आर ब्यूटिफुल फूलन के गहने सभी लाई हूँ सरकार और जो कोई पहने हे सखी मिले कृष्ण भरतार देख लो मेरी होशियारी छलन को श्री राधा प्यारी श्याम सुंदर इज सेंग आई हैव मेड ऑल काइंड ऑफ ऑर्नामेंट्स विद मेनी काइंड ऑफ फ्लावर्स फूलन के गहने सभी लाई हूँ सरकार एंड It, it is all the ornaments and the flowers. They are or they are not ordinary. There is a very special thing in them. You will not find this kind of flowers or this kind this kind of ornaments anywhere else. What is the speciality of your garlands, etc.? He is saying, whoever wears these ornaments, he gets sham sundar as her beloved. She says, eh? Hey? This kind of how come you have this kind of speciality? Yes, I'm telling you, everything is divine with whatever I made. Then she ran and he saw, and she said, "I never. I am very much surprised that I never saw you in Barsana. Barsana is a little town. I know everyone, but I never saw you before. And in Barsana, I never saw saw this kind of flowers as well, because those flowers were." Created by his yoga Maya power, they were not found anywhere in Barsana or in Braj anywhere. He, she said, "How come you brought? Where did you get it?" Then Thakurji says, "Oh, I got the seeds of these flowers from many country, you know, England, America, Canada, Australia, Australia, New Zealand. They came from all the countries, and then I created them." I live. I don't live in Barsana. That's why you didn't see me. So where do you live? I live near uh, Kusum Sarovar, and my uh, flowers, my garden is at Kusum Sarovar. Then Sri Radha Rani was very much impressed, and she said, "Oh, if you have such kind of flowers, then your garden must be very beautiful. Oh yes, it is very beautiful, and you should come and see that." She then says, "No, I cannot go today." Then Thakurji says, "Padharo bagyan me pyari." If you really like these flowers, come with me and see my garden. Padharo bagyan me pyari, phool rahi kesar ki kyaari. The kesar is seen only in kashmir but here you can see kesar in my garden as well and the all the flowers phulan ki gandh madhur pyari all the flowers are so fragrant and the most special thing latan ki uraj manohari if you see in govardhan There is a speciality of all the trees of Govardhan. Probably you have seen that that the branches of the uh, trees do not, you know, they do not uh, grow straight like that. Like all uh, in our, all the trees, you will say the branches grow like that. But in Govardhan, the branches of all the tree grow like this. 
They are entangled with each other. It shows love. It is the symbol of love. So Thakurji is also giving a hint that if you will go to see my garden, then you will find love also. Love of your, you will find your beloved Shyam Sundar also. So Latani ki Uraji Manohari. If you will rush the if you will reach there, you will have the love also. It is a loving place. She, he is trying to convince Sri Radha Rani like this. Then Sri Radha Rani said, it is too late to go there. Because if I will go and then come back, by that time it will be night, so it will not be a good idea. I will come some other time. No, 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 I'm here only for two, three days. After that I have to go somewhere else to bring them some seeds or flower and this and that. So you have to come today or maximum tomorrow. Sri Dharani says, okay, today I cannot go. If you are still here in your home, then I may come tomorrow, okay. But she said, then how would I come? I don't know. Then she gave an offer. What? Aaj ki rain karo yahi shen Shiradhe boli madhure ben Aaj ki rain karo yahi shen He said very sweetly Can you stay for one night over here? Thakurji was very happy because he was waiting for this offer for a long time. When Shiradhani herself said that can you stay here for one night? She said, no, I, although I don't stay anywhere, my mother-in-law is not happy with that. But if you are saying, you know, if you come tomorrow for sure, then I can stay. Yes, yes, I will go with you and then I will come back. So you can stay over here. Sham Sundar was very, very happy because he was looking for that. So when she said, Aaj ki ren karo yahi shen. Then Thakurji was out of control. Her love, his love was out of control. He forgot that what I am pretending over here, what kind of drama I am playing over here. Uh, he became so happy that he was in ecstasy and he looked towards the eyes of Sri Radharani. When he looked towards the eyes of Sri Radharani, then he was not in his control at all because all kind of sattvic bhav started occurring in the body of Shyam Sundar and his chunari was also came towards this side. It was displaced, it came towards this side. Then the murli which was stuck over here was seen by Sri Radharani. So, prema jhukki jhoom mile dur nena dekhi kar shyam bhai bechain to radhe ne murli lakhi jaan liyo chit chor radhe ne murli lakhi jaan liyo chit chor Aray ye to chaliya nand ko shri brj raj ki shor Mile do kah piyari piyari chalan ko shri radha piyari Then she saw that, oh, I am deceived today very badly. So it, it was kind of play of Shri Radha Rani and Shri Krishna and she felt that I am deceived. I am defeated in this play today and then both of them very happy because they are not two. Yeyam Radha Yashtra Krishna Rasabdhir Deve Naika Kirdinartham Vidhabhut Because they are one and the same, that's why they became very happy. They embraced each other and then they dance with all the gopis. So, this is the warm bhav. This is the beauty of warm bhav, which is, you can say, man bhav as well. Love is there. Unlimited love is there. But their behavior is inverted. That is called warm bhav. Now we have to know that what do we get if we get the prem? Then what is the outcome of that? What what happens to a devotee when he attains the love? But the time is over. We'll discuss it tomorrow. Muliye Shri Mat Satguru Sarkar Ki Jai Ladli Lal Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe
जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे